Hey everyone, today I wanted to take uh, just a couple of minutes to do a uh, quick product review on the Predator Call that I found uh, to be most helpful and why I think it's the best one on the market. It's the Primos Alpha Dog. I'm sure there's been uh, several reviews already done on the Alpha Dog. The thing is, it's coming up on probably six or seven years on the market. They still haven't changed a darn thing to it. And uh, I'm pretty convinced, at least for myself, that I think it's the best Predator Call on the market for the money. And I just want to do a quick review, quick review and tell you why I think that's true. And frankly, it all starts with the remote. So let me talk about that first. So let me just start with the with the remote control here. This is what it looks like. It's a camouflage color. It's got a it's a, made of a real hard durable plastic. It does have a nice little uh, spot where you can put in a uh, a lanyard or whatnot, something to put it around your neck. The reason why I love um, the Primos remote control is because it's just more functional and it's easier to use in all types of conditions than I've seen with other calls, even much more expensive machines. The buttons are big, so you know exactly when you're when you're pushing them. They're easy to operate with gloves. If I want to increase the volume, bottom left hand corner of the screen, you can see it went from one, now it's a hundred. So it's just very easy. It works well. Um, you can. It's got. They've got the sounds grouped by category. So if I want to go and do some coyote calling, I would hit that. Just scroll down to the predator calling. Let's do some coyote sounds. And there we go. Increase the volume. There we go. I can hit the pause button anytime I want to down here. Boom, let's hit the pause button. The sound stops. And then on the screen, you can see in the bottom right hand side of the screen down there, it tells you how long that calling sequence goes. It also tells you that the machine is paused. And even in some of the Fox Pros, you know, you, you could never tell when the machine was paused. It's probably something that they've fixed by now, but something I've found frustrating with other calls in the past. Anyway, we hit back out and go back to the front menu. And uh, they've got a My Favorite Sounds section, so you can put all kinds of sounds in here that you use frequently, so you can quick access them. They've got Expert Hunts downloaded on here from the Primos team and Randy Anderson. So these are just sets. Let's go to the Territorial set. Just pre-made sets that you can just push the button and it'll roll through that 20 or 30 minute set so that it's completely hands-free for you. Put the remote down and keep your hands on your gun or your bino. It's super helpful, especially when you're out calling alone and uh, you need your eyes out on the field and not on your remote. What I love even more though is that uh, what they've given people in this remote and with this system is the chance to customize your own customized hunts. So if you go into my hunts, here's a howl set that I designed, which gives you know the caller, the hunter, a great amount of satisfaction because I can go in there and put whatever I want to in this calling sequence and uh, intersperse it with some silence in there as you can see. Anyway, so I, I built this set and I can go out and call in dogs on my own with a set that I custom designed and that's really cool. So another thing I like is if you go to settings and uh, there's a theme option so that you can change it to a nighttime display so you got the the red readout so it's not so bright. Up here you've got your uh, your reception signal so you know whether or not you're getting reception so I am there and again just back to these buttons you can uh, operate a decoy here you got your menu button You've got your hot one and your hot two buttons that are completely customizable with any one of the 75 preloaded sounds. And then, like I showed, you got your like I showed you got your pause button down here. This thing comes with I think two gigabytes of storage, so you can literally download all the sounds that you want on here. You're never going to run out of space. On the back side, you got your power button here, real nice. There's a battery cover here that we take off, which reveals our three double A's. These batteries seem to last a long time, at least in my experience. Anyway, but that's what that's why I love this remote. Primo says up to 200 yards. I wouldn't I wouldn't really rely on that. Uh, not really functional that far away anyway for most hunting purposes. But uh, love love this remote control, and that's where a lot of my love for this system comes from is just from the design of the remote. Anyway, here's the call. You see, it's got a big uh, horn speaker in the front, and then the sides of it actually flip down. And then these speakers, the cone speakers on the side, flip out. They also they also move and tilt, as you can see. This is my second Primo's Alpha Dog. I don't like to mess with the tilt here too much because over time those get loose, and uh, I just I just have a, like having a tight tight machine. 
um, where everything works how it's supposed to and doesn't flop around on me. So I don't I don't mess with those too much, and I find that frankly you don't need to. Anyway, it's got a nice carrying handle. It's very sturdy. Um, sorry, let me get this here real quick. One thing that I wouldn't recommend, I mean, for storage purposes, it's got a it's got a little system on here where the remote control can just sit right there on the back. I found though in the field carrying that like that, sometimes this remote has actually fallen off. No, I can't even get it off. It's actually fallen off on me, and I've lost the remote and had to backtrack and retrace my steps to find the remote. So I, I mean, storing it at your house, that's fine. I would not use that carrying it out in the field because it has dropped on me before. But uh, anyway, it's, it's very loud, so you got your three speakers. You can fold it back up. So on the back here, you can see here, there we are. Here's your power indicator. You could operate a decoy out of here as well, plug a decoy in. Here's your USB for plugging it into a computer to download additional sounds. And then here's some audio jacks if you want to hook up an external speaker or whatnot. Anyway, that's what the back of it looks like. Sorry about the glare. So if we open up the back, you can see there's four AA batteries there, but there's four on the other side. So it's, it's uh, eight, eight AA's is what it takes. They sit in there nice and snug. And uh, again, battery life is, is pretty darn good on this. So anyway, there's, it, the batteries last. It is kind of a hefty weighted machine because of that. But frankly, I, I, I don't mind because I like the machine. I have confidence in it. I've called in a lot of coyotes with it. So externally, that's what the uh, call is about. I guess I should say on the bottom also, there's a threaded area where you could put this on the top of a uh, tripod and get it up off the snow, for example, in the winter. That's what I've used it for in the past. I'll show you that in the pictures too. So let me just give some uh, closing thoughts on this um, that I think you'll find interesting. I've used this call in the hot weather of the summer in the sub-zero temps of the winter, it always works. I've never had a problem with it not working. It's very reliable. Uh, in the, you know, once you start hitting negative 15 degrees, negative 10 degrees, sometimes the sound might distort a little bit. So those extreme, extreme conditions, it may distort a little bit. You gotta keep the volume a little bit lower. But uh, here's why I think it's the best call on the market. This thing, I think, is coming up on seven years old, and they haven't changed it a bit, from what I can tell. This is the second one I've owned. And uh, I got this on Amazon for $139 on one of the specials that they were, a lightning sale that they were doing for Prime members. Now, uh, quite honestly, I would love to go out and buy a Fox Pro, a Fox, uh, a Fox Fusion, uh, to be honest, but I don't have $499. I just can't justify, I would love the Fox Fusion technology to, you know, to mold two sounds together. The Fox Bang technology, I love that about my old Fox Pro. Again, this doesn't have those types of features. But again, I could have purchased three of these machines for what it would have taken for me to uh, buy the Fox Pro that I wanted, for example. And I know there's a lot of other machines out there. I just, Fox Pro Primos are some of the ones that come to mind to me and to a lot of other predator hunters. So anyway, that's why I think that this is probably the best call on the market for the money. You can't go wrong, it's reliable, and uh, Primos has been good to me, so I can't think of a whole lot of downfalls to the machine, frankly. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys.